Okay, let's press onwards here. What else do we got? Remove.bg. This is kind of cool. So let's take a look at that. A lot of times, and especially with a lot of templates, PowerPoint templates, uh, and we can also use these in Camtasia, uh, what you might want to do is remove the background uh, from an image. And we can do that in PowerPoint, and I'll show you that in a second. But this site, uh, I went and checked it out. So here's kind of the scoop. Basically, all you do is you go to the site, you select a photo, and it will remove the background. The thing is that it only works for people. So here, I tried to take this little pup here, which I would love to remove the background on, and currently, it only works for people. So it, it looks for people, and I'm not quite sure how it does that, but uh, right now you can only do it with people images. Okay, so anyway, I went to Pixels, did a search for man, and it seems that it's going to work best for images that have some differentiation or contrast to the background. This dude right here probably will work stunningly well, and I'll show you some examples of that in a second. This guy right here, see how he's up against the wall and there's a shadow here? This, I can almost promise you, is not going to work that well. And then ones that are, see this is kind of the same tinting, uh, it might do a decent job on a guy like this. This dude will work well, but like I say, I found uh, th this one guy here, and you'll notice that he is really kind of separated from the background, and boom, it does this in seconds. And it does a really, really nice job. So here, I did a couple of my pictures, and it actually recognizes multiple people and does a, a pretty good job. Here is another example of one that might not work as well, again, just because you know things get a little squirrely in color around in this area. So what you can see is that eh, it didn't, doesn't quite get it. And then if you have stuff in the mix here, like this mic, yeah, it gets a little confused there. Here, this is a good one, and the thing I like about it is you can kind of do this in PowerPoint, and we'll try that in a second, but you will play hell trying to get stuff like hair. And finally, if we go down here to some of their samples, female hair is the worst to try to remove the background on. And this does a, a superb job of it. So here, you can kind of see that. And then I think there's one more gal here, wispy hair like this. It, it does a pretty darn sweet job. Okay, so fun little tool, handy dandy. Uh, let's jump over to PowerPoint and I'll show you a couple of things. So here, like I said, in PowerPoint, here's an image. And I can go to Format. And I can go to Remove Background. And then I can go through all this rigmarole of, uh, let's see, mark areas to keep. I need to keep this. Uh, I need to keep this. Blah, blah, blah. Keep all of that stuff. Okay, and then you got to keep going back and forth. Mark areas to remove. Try that. Try this. Uh, now I got to go back in and try to keep this. It does a halfway decent job, but if I zoom in here, what you'll see is now I got all these little niglets and stuff like this. So I gotta try to remove that yeah, to make it smooth. So you get the point. So I can keep it. Oops, I think I discarded it, sorry. So you can keep those changes and it's okay. But again, the hair, big problem. With the remove.bg, yeah, it does a really stellar job. So here, I basically did the same image, and then, of course, I put it on a colored background, but you can put it on, like, then any background that you want, and there you go, transparent. It makes the image transparent so that whatever's in the background shows through. Nice, right? Here's kind of the issue, or one of the issues currently as well, is that Here's our dude from Pixels. When I did the picture here, on Pixels, this is a high-res picture. 
and currently when you do this and then click the download link save it to your hard drive and let's go to my hard drive here he is 500 pixels wide as opposed to 1920 so all images that you create are limited to this resolution so currently and they say they have plans to you know buff this out and stuff as well as adding the ability to do more than just people uh, but what you're going to end up with is an image that's this size and of course if we resize this too much it's going to suffer a bit okay but yeah i mean it did a just a fantastic job of removing the background okay so that's just a little caveat to be aware of uh, but yeah handy dandy fun little tool